Hello Internet. Today we're going to be making a portal in Unity. I was going to say something else there and then I totally forgot halfway through that sentence. Alright. Anyway, what we're going to be doing, I, you can see I've got some, a white plane here and then I've already laid out a few uh, black cubes. So those are going to be our two layers. We're going to have, I've already named the materials actually, Underworld and Overworld which is about the most cliche thing I could think of, so that's what we're going with. And so what we're, what we're trying to do is we're trying to make it so our main game camera only renders the overworld. And then we're going to create a second camera that's only going to render the underworld. And then we're going to put that on a object and render that somehow so we can put it on like a mirror, for example, and it will kind of show underneath there. So the idea to do this is we need to do a few things. First, we're going to need to create some layers because we don't have anything for like overworld or underworld. And if you look at your camera, it's got a coloring mask that has all of these layers in them. And so that's how we're going to be implementing this. We're going to add a layer for overworld and underworld. And then I'm just going to tag my stuff with it. So that's not how that works. I'm going to add it to the layer. So that white plane is in the overworld and these five cubes are all in the underworld. So we've got that. Now everything should be like that. What I can go here now is we've got our culling mask and what we're toggling here is what this camera is going to draw. So everything that is unchecked here won't be drawn. So if I uncheck the underworld, those cubes disappear in our little preview window. And if I run the game, the cubes are gone. And then, well, just to show that they actually are there, I can turn them on by just toggling them on there. So now that we have that, what we can do is let's create a quad. So this is super simple, just a basic quad. Nothing fancy going on there. And just to make sure it is it is rendered there. Now I can remove the mesh collider as well. That's not going to be needed. Now what we need is we want to attach a camera to it. Like so. So now we have a camera being rendered from the point of that uh, rectangle. So now that we have that what we can do is switch these. So this one's only going to draw the overworld. And I'm actually going to turn off everything and then enable the underworld. So it'll only draw those cubes. And now, uh, obviously this isn't really going to do anything. If I start, it's just going to pick a camera and do something with it. Like we only have one here because it's drawing one and then drawing the other one on top. That's not what we want. What we want is we want to take our camera that we have here and actually render it out to a render texture. And so I'm going to create one for the, I'm going to create a folder for the portal and create a new uh, render texture for that called portal render texture and now what I can do is assign this guy wherever he is to this texture and here we can configure the resolution and everything of this 255 by 255 is probably fine for what we're doing and what's happening is now this camera is not going to render if I start the scene you'll see we're back to our original camera and what's happening is this camera is not rendering to the screen anymore. It's rendering here. You can actually see when I click the, well, you can't see. If I pull this up, you can see that the demo or preview of that texture is actually the underworld scene. It's actually what we were seeing in the underworld. So what we can do is we can actually use that texture now in a material just pull up a portal material, for example, and we can assign that as the albedo of that material, and then just drop it on here. 
And now our plane should be rendering in the overworld, but it should be able to give us a view into the underworld. So I can rotate this around and the image should actually change. Like we can see, we can see those other three cubes over there. We can see everything around us. So everything just kind of works, but we're getting, we're getting a totally different scene there. So this is super simple. I mean, we didn't really, we didn't really do much there, but the cool thing is, is it gives us kind of a way to render two different scenes, one on top of the other. So if you want to do like an interactive picture frame or uh, the project I'm in, I'm envisioning is sort of like a sort of like a hoop that you kind of put over your head. And so you can kind of like step through a portal into another one. And then you'll just be able to like step through worlds and kind of experience them or even like be half half in between two worlds. And that way, like if there's a bridge that you need to cross, but you want to do something else and like see in the overworld, for example, or pick something up from there and kind of carry it across, then you can kind of hold it in between and kind of walk across. That's sort of where I'm pic picturing taking this. But for now, I think that's, I think that's good for, for this. We got what we needed. We got a portal that we can see through. Seems to work. So yeah, I think I'm going to leave it here and then I'll pick this up and we're going to add some effects. We're going to probably write a custom shader for this actual portal effect. So it looks a little bit more interesting than this. But I'll get into that in the next video. So until then, I was going to say something and then I forgot. Well, shoot. Anyway, if you like it, comment, subscribe. I'm interested in what you guys are thinking, what you, what you would like to see me do. Uh, so if you leave those, I will check them out. And yeah, make sure to, if you like this, look up the code on GitHub. And that's about it. So until next time, see you, internet.